this session, I want to look at creating a 2D drawing using the Solid Edge Free 2D. So we'll start off by going in and turning on the 2D model view. So this is um, the actual draw, draw it actual size. And on the Home tab, we need to make sure that we have the alignment indicator on and the maintain um, maintain relationships and relationship handles shown as well. So um, I'm going to draw a flange. So we'll start with the um, side elevation. And if I just draw, you'll see that the um, cursor has a horizontal bar on it, which means that it's going to be a horizontal line. And the length is highlighted, so I can just key that in, click for the point, and then go on to the next one. So I'm going to make this 150. And as you can see with the relationship, um, with the alignment indicator on, you'll see that it highlights when I'm over another point. If it doesn't, you just need to hover over the line and it will pick up that geometry. So I'm just going to draw quickly in here. And then I will draw um, using the line command. Um, I'm going to change the line style to center line. And if I start here, hit the S key, that takes me symmetric, and I can draw that going through there. I'll also draw the um, um, plan view over here as well. So if I come off here, I can draw using the S key. Um, that view as well while I'm in this and I also know that I want some holes on a PCD so if I um, go into the circle tool it should still have that as its line type so if I want to get the intersection of the two circle by center I can either just go to the center line because that's where I started from or just if I go over to both of them, it should give me intersection as well. So this pitch circle diameter is 120. So I'll place that in there at the moment. And then I can go back to my line command and um, change my line style back to continuous. Now I'm going to start here, hit the S key. And this wants to be um, 40, or um, sorry, 80. So it's an 80 diameter. And then I can place that back. So you can see the point on and horizontal line indicator there. Right mouse click to restart again. And do the other side as well. So I don't need this piece in here. I also want to... Um, do a fillet, but I'll start off by using the trim command. So this trims back to the intersection point, so I can get rid of those two pieces. I can then add a fillet in here, um, specify one length mil radius, and I can either click the two lines separately or I can come to the intersection point and get that done together. Now, if I want to ensure that I have the width set up correctly. I can use my smart dimension, click between there and there. Let's just change that text size to be a little bit larger so that we can see it. And I want to make this value here um, 46. And this one here has changed. So let's just make that 26. And we will find that that has not moved with the other one. So if I click on the um, horizontal vertical, I'm going to use the key points and bring those two together to bring it all into line as I want it to. Now what I can do is um, I can add these projection lines across. So if I use my um, smart select, I can pick on a element and say that I want to pick up on just the element type so that would be a line 
and that goes through and picks up all the lines. Um, that means that my options here stay the same. So I can turn on rejection lines and you can just about see that it has um, lines coming across here. So now if I um, finish off my um, other view, I can quickly pull up these lines here. And the other one here is going to be a um, 50 diameter hole going through the middle. So if I now draw my um, hidden detail, I can change my line style to um, hidden. And if I Place this line and this line. I can then put a tangency of that onto there, and likewise this one to sorry, wrong side. Let's go back. Um, control Z to undo. So tangency this line to the inner circle. And the same on the bottom side. So that lines it up. You can see the extra um, extension lines dropped in. Now I want to um, place a circle by centre. Um, so this is for the holes. They're going to be four of them at 12 mm diameter. And again, I can just go over and get the intersection point. Um, if I wanted to, um, I could do a um, copy. But because it's um, nice and simple, I can get those intersection points just like so. Notice that they are actually the wrong line style. So again, I can use my smart select, pick up on one of those, and line type, element type, I'm not too worried about color. So that will select all of those four, and I can quickly change them back to solid. Now, um, again, if I wanted to um, draw this hidden detail in here, change my line type, make sure it's back on. Here, roughly sketch it in. that tangency again and place these tangencies now um, I may not want to have these dimensions on this view as you see them so what I shall do is create a new layer. Um, if I wanted to have construction lines, I could do the same sort of thing. And if I use my smart select, I can pick up on a dimension element type that will pick both of them. And I can then um, yeah, move those elements off to that other view layer. So double clicking on this layer sets me back to that one. I can then hide that and I don't need to see it. Then finally I will turn off the actually I'll, yeah, I'll pick all of those and I can turn off that projection line. Um, these are still shown because they are tangency relationships and you can see the circle on here to indicate that they will be tangent and that allows me to um, 
uh, if I move something, it will um, follow through as well. Um, one last thing I will do is to place a center line for those holes. So we go back to our center line command somewhere in the middle here. And same this side. And like before, I will do a tangency onto this circle to give me that center point. So if I go back to um, sheet one, I can go into my sketching view and I can go 2D model view, pick one view. And place that so that works out the scale that's going to fit the um, sheet and go to the other view and fence select that one and drop that in then we can go um, right mouse click and create alignment and we want to have a uh, drawing view centers by um, actually more uh, key points be a better one because the um, size of the views may be slightly differently but we can create a um, horizontal alignment so go from there to there and that aligns the two views and when we move one around you'll see that both are adjusted so now when we dimension this this is a um, dimension which is scaled um, if you need to scale your drawing view. This one, however, is one-to-one. Uh, -one. So this concludes the exercise, and um, hopefully you've learnt one or two tips along the way.